Hi, I'm Martin Delaney. Here's a fun way you can use clip envelopes with Operator to get interesting sounds out of really basic content like this. This is just the Operator default sine wave sound playing the same note C2 for one bar over and over again. So let's begin by going into the envelope editor here. I'm going to choose Operator's transpose parameter, which is an easy one to find because it's near the top. Okay, we're going to set our grid resolution here to eighths for this, and we're going to tap B on our keyboard to enable draw mode. Now I'm going to draw in one octave down transpositions on each beat. That's minus 12 semitones. Just hearing that should give you an idea of where we're going with this. Then I'm going to change resolution, choose a finer resolution, and draw in some random high transpositions as well. So this is like programming a melody. If you go back to look at Operator, you can see the little red dot here and you'll see some movement, the controls moving. Now we're gonna to go to filter frequency. Again, I'm just doing this in a very random way, which is how I like to work. It's up to you how you, what kind of creative decisions you make for this. So some resonance as well. Okay, that's nice. Then let's go back. You can choose the parameters from the list or just go back and click on them inside the uh, the operator instrument and select them that way. We're going to do something with the shape of this time, which will add some edge to the sound. We don't need too many of those for this. And of course they all affect each other every time you add something new affects the overall sound. Let's try that with our hats. Because we're using the grid, everything is still kind of nice and tight sounding and synced sounding. Then let's do the oscillator B level. It's got some white noise for us to bring in. something with the LFO as well. It's going to A only at the moment. But for this one we're going to unlink the envelope length from the one bar and we're going to have a two bar loop just for the LFO. And just right at the end of the second bar we're going to send it to A. Then one more thing, if we go back to transpose, we're just gonna tap B to leave draw mode. We're gonna smooth out some of that greedy stuff, make some smooth kind of sweeps there, just with the transposition at the end. There we go. So as I say, because it's on the grid, it sounds good against the beats. So let's play that out again. Hope that gives you some ideas. Thanks for watching.